Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe, and we're going to continue our build series today with Blue White Super Friends. Uh, so, if you missed it, we played the budget version the other day. Uh, it's up on the YouTube channel. Basically, that version of the deck is playing nothing but uncommons and commons, uh, other than free cards and the dual lands, so Glacial Fortress and Hallowed Fountain. With the exception in this particular build that we threw in a couple cleansing novas because they were pretty critical to the deck. Uh, that deck pretty much won by milling your opponent out. Uh, now we're moving to the mid-budget and basically the upgrades here are the Teferi Bros. You got Baby Teferi uh, and you got Big Teferi. Little Teferi is a great card when it's on your side of the field. Terrible when it's not. Uh, it turns off your opponent's instants. Uh, it basically can let you play stuff at instant speed with its plus, so you can flash in a Cleansing Nova, and it also allows us to bounce something and then draw a card, which is a great tempo swing, especially for controlling the board. So we added in some Teferis, we got rid of the Mill Condition as our win con, now that we have actual win cons. Uh, mainly it's Teferi Ultimate, and then you start tucking it into your library. Um, with Big Teferi, or we can win through Ugin, just making creatures, or we have Mobilize District. So Mobilize District is another way for us with the, basically if you have enough of a board presence with Planeswalkers, you can activate it for zero mana, and it's a 3-3 three, three that doesn't get caught up by your sweepers. Um, so in total we added 3, 4, 7, eight rares three mythics so not terrible for a mid-budget uh with the non-budget uh i've already posted in before a just guy version so i'll reference that in the reddit write-up um, but i'll build towards the esper super friends list that came out in the sideboard i didn't add too much i just uh, moved the ashiok to the sideboard um this is for the command the dread horde list or the phoenix list just exiling their graveyards to shut them off um, so we'll pretty much run it through. This deck tends to be a bit slower. Uh, it doesn't have a quick win condition other than opponent scooping. So probably won't play as many as we have in the past. Um, so I'll play at least one best of three and one best of one to demo the deck. Um, normally with the quicker decks we'll play two to three, but if it's like a 30 minute game, first one, I don't want to keep the video too long. Uh, it's more for instructional purposes. So as we get started, if you're new to the channel, I'm MTG Joe. We play everything from budget to tier one list here. Uh, we focus a lot on these build series, new player guides. Very active on the arena subreddit for uh, the, the game. So if you have any questions, feel free to drop a line there. Um, and uh, if you can, hit that subscribe button. It's a free and easy way to support the channel. Uh, so this hand's a little bit of a stretch. We got both Teferis here. We have settled to clean up and opt, so we'll probably try it out first. Opt is effectively a redraw. So we'll see how it goes here. Opponent mulligans. So we'll lead on the island. So it could be a couple things. Oh, we'll just keep the land on top there. Green's usually indicative of a creature deck. So hopefully not Gruul. Gruul usually plays Spellbreaker. Okay, so it's the ramp deck. Here I'm actually inclined to just take them off mana. It sets up our scry for another land. Sahili is also interesting. It makes our future plays better. But I think we just want to try to hit our land drops. This does get rid of our answer for a Nisa. So we'll just pass the turn here. Fake like we have a counter spell up. Jade Light's fine. Settle's actually a little worse in this matchup. I'm 
veto is very good. So I'll pass the turn. Actually, we could have played Teferi, but we weren't going to protect it, so it's fine. Opponent is respecting the settle. Uh, it's a little awkward. Yeah, it's fine. Hydroid Crisis, so this is the steel deck. So we'll run out of Teferi here. Sorry I'm late. You know what? I'm not done yet. So it's not bad. It's a redraw. Buffers our life total a bit too. They attack him with both. Only time will tell. Couldn't really do much there anyways to protect. Hydrate Crisis is unfortunate. So it's a Healy. Think we're gonna have to Sahili here. Hold up settle. They're gonna get Nisa down, but we can Ugin it. Um That's fine. Try to catch him with a land as well. See what they come out with. We're pretty far behind in this matchup. Sweet. Let's settle here. They will get a bunch of lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think you will find my Okay, so they hit another crisis. That sets them up for next turn. I'm gonna tuck the Nisa here. Trust me. Thank me later. Time is much more malleable than people think. Um I think we just now nah, they're gonna get a bunch of life anyways. Let's just poke Tamio. The way we likely win this game is them just milling themselves out. We can Ugin the Krasis when it comes down next turn. Interesting they do it for 6. Okay, so they play Jade Light as well. Tamio on top. I follow the path of the wise. Let's skip to the good part. Cleansing Nova is actually pretty good. So if we do that, we can hold up Vito and thing. Let's 
Let's see if they block. It's fine, so we'll settle here. So they'll try with the mass manipulation. We can Dovin's veto it. And then hopefully spell Pierce as well. Um, I'm going to do this just to make a blocker. So they attack in there, that's fine. We'll block here. Opponents had 25 cards in library. Second mass manipulation. So let's see where we go with Teferi first. We need to move quickly. Prison Realm's not bad. Let's get rid of Nisa. Mobilite District. Gives us something to pressure them with. Let's try that. So we could play Teferi and then untap as well. Gonna bounce the land. We'll just pass here. We're at 37 cards, they're at 24. Exiling the Nisa is also relevant with the Tamiyo out. So unfortunately they're going to have two, so we got to make this one count. Let's see what they name. Okay, so they got all the mass manipulations. They got Nisa here. Uh, here, gonna just triple block the land. Takes creature off, plus it takes two mana off. Okay, so there's Field of Ruin. We can. I kind of don't want them to take our Teferi. We have a hard time dealing with that. I also don't want to play Ugin out this turn. So perhaps let's Kazmina first. See what we draw into. So we're a little stuck here. We can, we're can, we one short of tucking our own Teferi so they can't mass manipulation it. Um, 
We can do it in Nisa, but there are 20 cards. I think we just take a card draw here. We'll just fake like we have something. I think we lost this one though. They'll take Teferi and eventually be able to exile our stuff. They did that wrong, they should have tapped it first. It's probably a bad matchup for us, game one. Spell Pierce against a ramp deck isn't very good. Yup. Pretty dead. No time for a break. So I'm just gonna kill the Teferi with Ugin. Let me aid your research. So if they keep something good on top, I'll field the in it. Okay, it also thins out their deck. There are 12 cards. The island here. Let's lead with Kazmina first, get the most information. Cleansing Nova is a good draw there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're a couple off. Mm. Actually, we can probably force in there. So they make another blocker here. Actually, it might be better to just board wipe this turn. Teferi uptick here will f kind of force them into drawing more cards. Um, do we want a Kazmina? No, I think we just keep it open for Mobilize District. It can trade with the uh, the Nisa token with the land. They are at nine cards. It's fine. Here we go. We'll see if they attack into Kazmina, then I'm fine with them doing so. So indirectly we're aiming for the mill plant. It's actually fine for us. Okay. 
It potentially draws them more cards. More lands, please. Cool. Getting closer to dead. Keep our life total high. Oh, instant speed. I wonder how that works. This still counts as the block. Okay, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So awkward enough, it kind of screws us up. So we can Narset for a card and Kazmina this turn. They're at eight. Might be fine. See if we hit a board wipe. So this just slows them down a bit more. Forgot about the instant speed there. The lands will help us find a way. Seems like a silly ultimate there. Probably just make some uh, tokens with Ugin. They're gonna attack into Narset most likely, which is kind of what we want. We want us okay. They're going for us. No, nope, going after Narset. That's a buffer for us. I was not prepared for this. What do you got? You got a Tamio. Such an honor, Tamiya. I have learned much from my ancestors. So little Teferi could bounce here, but it puts Ugin pretty high. So they might be incentivized. Seal away is a good draw there, especially with two mana. Let's us exile. Fortunately not the land. We also have Prison Realm the following turn to just exile something. There are four cards. The bounce with Teferi also means they draw a card. Probably exile the mobilized this oh that's got vigilance. A lot of these cards are oddly annoying right now. Okay. Oh, it's a fairy. Damn it. My own Teferi biting me in the biting me in the butt. Well, Gotta do this now. Oh, we're dead regardless. Yeah, we're dead. Too little, too late. He almost held off, which is actually really funny. Okay, so the vetoes are good. Uh, the vanguards in this matchup probably aren't that good. Ashiox. Probably want those in. 
What do we want to get rid of? The settle seems f uh, seems iffy. These teferis might be more of a liability. They're going to steal our stuff. Uh, we could get rid of the spell pierce. Those feel bad. Seal away might be okay. Taxes their spells. Three cards. Shave down one Sahili. Narset, they're not really drawing cards, so we can cut down. Maybe Teferi's still really good. Bounces their stuff as a tempo play. Probably. I just go down, Kazmina. Yeah, so these are longer games, so I'll demo one like this and I'll demo a best of one. Um, like when you play the other versions, it can close out the game a lot faster. Keep this hand. No Planeswalker yet, but we got early removal. I gotta save this. Uh, Nova's really good, so we'll keep that. Vito is also good. I might opt to seal away. Take one point of damage. This slows him down. So it gives us a couple turns, like, uh, no, it's fine. Incubation's fine. Okay, so Op's not bad there. Gives us something to do on end step. Spiral here, and if they want to spend their turn to dap this, it's fine. Crushing canopies, so it's good to know they have that on top. I'm gonna veto here. Top. Um, I'm gonna do this now. Might incentivize them to use this canopy on it. Since they get kind of the explore, but it also can keep our life total a little higher. So they crease this here, that's fine. They refill their hand. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. I'm just going to cleansing Nova here. Ideally I'd like to play the Ashiok when there's not a creature down. Cool, cool. So obviously we're weaker to the canopy. Um, I want to fairies. Sahili doesn't do anything. This like we don't have a board presence.
see if this baits out a counter. New canopy. If they keep mass manipulation on top. Nice. Which is actually quite scary. Oh, but we exile it. Never mind. Thank you for taking all the lands off the top of our library. Um, probably just okay getting out the Jade Light. They can exile some stuff. Put our set to the bottom. I'd rather try to draw that. We have like Field of Ruin or something to shuffle. We also have a counter if they drop like Anissa. Sweet. Right on schedule. Hold that thought. Teferi's come in twos. So unfortunately we're one mana short of just tucking our own Ashiok. We're at 33 cards, they're at 32. They're really doing a good job of just hitting our lands. So we'll veto that. Um, so unfortunately, Little Teferi doesn't help us here. Hurry. Um, kind of just want to pass, make them blow this on just this Teferi, because I'm just going to play the Art Teferi and bounce the other Teferi. They are at 27 cards. This. I will return with I more to survive. I will protect the virtue of this world. Rise, my elemental friend. Okay, so they do steal it. That's good for us. We need to move quickly. I will gladly bounce the Teferi. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Um Yeah, we gotta go Teferi bounce our Teferi here. They can just get back the mass manipulation though. They're gonna kill Teferi. We can Teferi bounce this. Kind of an overkill. There's nothing for one mana. There's no path to exile in this format. Hmm. I know I noticed this okay, so there is a veto, which is great for us. So I'm just going to do this as a tempo play. Sorry, I'm late. We're at 22 cards, they're at 21. I've got 
Another Ashiok for next turn is pretty good. Uh, they could bring back Mass Manipulation. Steal our stuff. So it probably just played out like this. Have them attack this turn. I think as long as we kind of protect ourselves, the fairy can just tuck stuff. Brought it to hand. So it might have made more sense for us to just play out the Ashiok and exile their mass manipulations. Next turn we can Teferi and then hold up the Dovin's Veto. All this does buy us some life. Ah, uh, they had the negate. They had the negate. I think we're dead. I think we are dead. Ultimate Nisa. Ultimate Nisa. Ultimate Nisa. Alright, 14 cards. Do it. Go thin your deck out some more. Let us have a story battle worth retelling. Okay. The land bestows opportunity for those who are worthy. They opt to not. The storied path holds our future. Another Nisa. The land fights for us. I think we're dead regardless. Interplaner. So, we can gain two life, but they just mass manipulation, which doesn't actually help. And then they start exiling ours. Okay, you know what? Let's see if they see the line. If they just make a creature and attack us directly, they win. This matchup's very hard for us. Us being more... They missed it. Wow. Buddy. Wow. Are you afraid to settle? Okay, so there might be a chance. Okay, Vito. They can't bring it back. To the library. Oh, and they uptick. So if we get running Ashiox, we can win. They draw land. They draw land. Ah, oh, if they drew land, we would have guaranteed one. Um, okay, so let's exile first. Okay, 
Okay, so we have to dig for an Ashiok. Eee, yeah! 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 That's why you play to your outs. So this game is probably going a lot longer, so I'll just wrap it up after this one. So that oh, opponent just conceded. Wow. Opponent missed that clear cut. Oh man. That was awesome. Um, we'll just do one quick play. Best of one. Lose to mono red. As is tradition on the stream. Sometimes you just play to your outs. The opponent had one play. Uh, this hand doesn't do anything. We'll keep this. Fortunately, we don't have an opt on one. Okay, this could be a command deck. Also, so we really need another blue source. That works. Backup C Healy is a little redundant. So this could be the command the Dread Horde matchup. We'll have to see. Okay. Actually fine for us. We can just Teferi tuck the wild growth walker. Or even better, just get tons of card advantage. Next turn, the crisis. Okay, so they're missing line drops. Don't make another move. No time for a break. Oh, well, it's actually pretty sweet. We can play out Ugin. An opponent concedes. Alright, so that was the deck. Uh, we were able to take down a couple matchups. Um, because control generally goes longer, I don't want to play a ton. Played a couple variations there against the Simic deck, uh, the Simic ramp, and then a Sultai command, the Dread Horde. Um, you can see the general themes. We'll play a little bit more with the uh, tuned version, for, and we'll play in ranked for that one. Um, so we'll bring that hopefully later this week. Thanks for those who tuned in, and if you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and have a great one.